I finally went back to Japan after three years. It was honestly a last minute trip, so I had to fly Air Canada. I was going for my friend's wedding and the shiny concert. I picked up some headphones. Sorry, I'm not an AirPods girl. Tadaima! It's super humid, but it smells like home sweet Japan. If you're new to my channel, my first time in Japan was studying abroad in Osaka, and I've been coming back every few years since then. This is the line for the Japan Rail Pass. I skipped the line because I ordered mine on japanrailpass.net. This is what the new version of the pass looks like, so small and easy to lose. And yes, I did lose it, and that's a story for another day. I took the Narita Express to Tokyo Station, then to my hotel. During this trip, I stayed at Villa Fontaine Grand in Ariake, which is in Tokyo Bay, also known as Odaiba. It's a four-star hotel, and for this room with a bad tub, a three-night stay cost me 300 USD. I really enjoyed this hotel. There's something about staying in Tokyo Bay that just makes it so magical. It's a very clean and quiet area. I also love that in the hotel lobby, they really provided you with all the amenities you needed, like facial care, toothbrushes, everything. You could just grab it. They also had things for kids, which really surprised me. It's not stuff you often see in the U.S. The hotel also had this money exchange machine that was perfumed. Like perfumed. <laughs> So I am going to just go straight to the onsen, wearing the pajamas that they provided us, and I'm going to have dinner there. The onsen restaurant was closed, so I grabbed dinner at the Ariake Garden Mall. I got a teishoku set of unagidon and fried oysters. So these are the hotel pajamas and slippers that you would also wear to the onsen. I specifically picked this hotel because it was near the wedding venue, but also it had a 24-hour onsen. Can you guess how many times I went to the hot springs? It's 3.40 a.m. and I am taking a walk here in Odaiba. And why is it, you ask? Well, because this is Japan and it is totally safe to walk at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. But also, I cannot sleep. Jet lag. <laughs> After roaming around in Odaiba at 3 a.m., voila, I found a convenience store and it's Lawson. Heaven. One of the best things about Japan are their convenience stores. They're always open 24 hours a day and they have everything and anything you absolutely need. Of course, I went straight to the onigiri section and picked out what looked like a premium onigiri. Let's try it. And of course, I had to have Lawson's famous karagekun, the best fried chicken you can get. And of course, my go-to hot lemon tea. That's day one.